farm about uh, 6,000 acres here of corn, soybeans, and wheat. Probably the fastest we've ever put our corn crop in the ground. Just great dry conditions. Um, probably the driest spring we've had in a while. We've had maybe just a quarter inch of rain through the whole planting window and it's allowed us to get in the field fast and timely and uh, move right through. We had a homemade fuel trailer just like uh, most people do around here. Uh, 12 volt, 10 gallon per minute pump. Um, just had an air compressor, welder, uh, just something we've had for about 20 years. Uh, we had our first Thunder Creek trailer, uh, purchased it in 2011, just when we started uh, handling DEF with the Tier 4 Case IH stuff. Recently, we just purchased the new uh, FST trailer, allowed us to handle a little bit more fuel, um, 990 gallons, and then also had 100 gallons of DEF on there. Being able to take the shop kind of on the road, seems like we're never, never around the home farm for long. Once we get spread out, it's kind of like the take the shop on wheels. With uh, two four-wheel drives, two planters running, and then two combines in the fall, by the time we filled both combines, both auger carts, maybe hit a tillage tractor on the way home, that was uh, it's kind of the right size and fit for us. This trailer we use pretty much every day in the spring and the fall, and just, just allows us to be more efficient with our fills, have everything you need on the service trailer, uh, grease, air, welder, and uh, obviously fuel in depth. You're looking at dumping you know, a couple hundred gallons of fuel at a time. This Thunder Creek trailer, I think it's 40 gallons a minute at the nozzle. Just, just makes the Phillips quicker in between, uh, in between stops. It's emissions compliant. Everything's closed loop. It just allows us to handle the fuel and the DEF safely. You know, the DEF more importantly to prevent contamination. Um, we can go closed loop right from a, a tote from our fuel distributor and uh, right into the trailer or right into the tractor. Just handling it effectively, handling it the right way, especially with new equipment under warranty, it's, it's important that uh, those, uh, those needs get met. Any truck we got on the farm, even from a half ton to a three quarter ton, can hook on. Um, it's, it's balanced really well. You know, we really love it because it's safe on the road. Compared to the past, you know, it's about 30 mile an hour with the, the homemade fuel trailer, where now it's, you know, you can run highway speeds, the larger tires, better use in the field, just, just safer all around for us to handle fuel and def. This new trailer's got a solar panel on the top, so, you know, all the batteries for the pump, the jack, the welder generator in the back, it all stays charged. Everything's right there. Just, it just seems like they, they really hit it out of the park with this trailer.